Good morning, guys. Okay. So I will say that when I do product of the week, I normally, I pick it and I normally pick it like the week before I do product of the week. So like I said earlier, uh, well, yesterday, um, I had put up a poll on Sunday to pick the product of the week and you guys picked um, the workshop your way, love at first sight. And typically I also have a little bit of prep time to come up with ideas and etc. So this week is going to be a little bit different. I'm flying by the seat of my pants and um, because I'm a little bit under the weather, we're just going to see what happens this week. So yesterday in the video, I um, cut up the cards and we assembled them exactly how it shows in the workshops your way. And then typically what I then do with, um, so I'm just going to share this over in my classroom. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, maybe I need to. The lights are crazy. I had plastic, like the plastic container uh, packaging on the table yesterday, and um, that had a super bad glare off of it. So I moved my lights around, but now I'm just trying to. Sorry, guys. I know. Oops. Wrong way. Okay. Yes, I also meant to drop my camera a little bit closer. But anyway. So, like I said, yesterday we made them just as is. These are them. This was card number one, I do believe. And then this is card number two. So, one of the things that I said during that video is that these would make a great um, wedding card or shower card. So, I went with that idea and um, we are going to use the stamp set and still the feels like love, but I picked a, di pick a different piece of paper. And we are going to make this super cute um, money holder. So here, typically, if we go to a wedding, most weddings are presentation, they're not um, gifts. So I thought this would be perfect for a wedding. So it's just a little, um, basically it's a little envelope and you can slide money into it. So, money just slides down into it like so and then I, I'm not going to push it all the way in so I'm going to use it again and then we're just going to close it up so super simple but I think it's just a little bit um, nicer it's always nice to give something handmade so now we are going to make this money holder so um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was we're going to score the paper. So I have an old close to my heart scoring tool that I like to use, but lots of people don't have that. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about scoring with your trimmer. So I have, a, I'm going to show you on this piece of paper. The, the base for the card is six by 10. So you can get two of them out of a single sheet of cardstock. So that is always good. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my trimmer up here on the table. So both the Fiskars trimmers have the option to have a scoring blade in it. So it just comes out, it's not sharp, so it won't actually cut your paper. It just scores it. So that is one option on scoring your paper. So we're going to score this mink base that I have here. So I have it like 
Yeah, so we're going to score the short side first. So I'm going to score at, I'm going to show you two ways to use your trimmer to score. So the first way is with the scoring blade in it. So I'm just going to measure on this side because I want a half an inch score line on this side. So you push down the, um, sorry, it's like, Because when I put it, in order to get it the whole way this way, it sits kind of up on my stand and then it doesn't actually push all the way in. Just like so. And then the other side, we're going to score at two and three quarters. So even though I'm looking at it upside down, I can see here my two and three quarters. And I'm going to just score it with my scoring blade like so. Then your other option is not to use your scoring blade at all. And these just pop in and out, super easy to use. But your other option is just to use the track as an actual guide. And there is a track here in your trimmer where it cuts your paper. And I'm just gonna run my bone folder in that track and it's exactly the same thing. So then from the bottom, I'm gonna score it at one inch. And from the top, the same, two and three quarters. So I'm just running the bone folder along the edge of the guide. So that is another option. So if you don't have a scoring tool, just use your trimmer. You can also, honestly, just use a ruler on your bone folder too. So if I wanted a half an inch from this side, I would you could just line up a ruler along this side of the paper and then just run my bone folder down the edge and it's scored. So then you're just folding on all your score lines. Okay, but I made this one with the pretty feels like um, home paper. So we're going to use the other side of it. So this one will be the charcoal side. And I knew I couldn't score this on camera because you guys would never be able to see. So I'm just gonna show you again the score lines. So this is on this long side is the half an inch. And I'm just going to press it again. And then this is the two and three quarters. So now we're creating our pocket to hold the money. Just like so. And then I'm going to fold up from the bottom. This is the one inch from the bottom. And like I said before, it's six by 10, so you can get two of them out of the piece of cardstock. So they're just really the opposites of each other. And then this is the two and three quarters from the top. Okay, so now we need to take some parts away. So always when I'm trying to figure out something, I kind of just do like a template to um, be able to figure it out and which parts I have to cut out and which parts to leave. As you can see, I had to tape this back together because I cut out the wrong part the first time because I wanted the front and the back flaps to be on opposite sides, so it folded like an envelope. So I'm just gonna leave this here in case you want to um, write any of the measurements down. So I'm gonna cut out the bottom first. And so this is the little half inch, and I'm gonna cut all the way over to that last section. just like so. So this just becomes the bottom and it'll fold over to seal up the bottom. Like that. So you can see here, it'll fold like this, fold over. And this part is going to come up here, just like that. Okay, so now on the top, because I wanted them opposite, I'm leaving this middle section. So I'm cutting off this half inch part and this two and three quarters on this side. So 
So just like this. So if your money is slightly different, you might just have to tweak the measurements just a little bit, but I know the Canadian and the American money is exactly the same size. Okay. So now you can see my money is just going to fit right inside here, like so. But I want my tab on the inside. So I'm just going to run tape liner along here. Just like so. And then like I said, I wanted the flap to come down this way, but the back to go up the opposite way. So I'm going to adhere my back like so and there we go so now we have our pocket for our gift then i wanted to use the wishing you happily ever after on the front so i have cut out the stitched square uh, thin cut and this one was mink, so I thought we would use a coordinating one in the sugar plum, which is the color of the year. So I am going to, first I'm going to, so I've stamped the banner piece on gray, the mint cardstock, and just going to trim it out so it'll be like this and so for this one okay, let me just move that to the side I'm going to just first I just grabbed one of the Shinhan markers, the sap green, and I'm just going to color in the leaves here. So this one I tied up sideways. I'm just trying to decide if I will tie it up that same way or if I want it to go the long way. So I've just grabbed um, the fern. Thank you. Yeah, you could do it for anything. Like it doesn't have to be with this stamp set. It could be a birthday one. It's just a nicer way to give money to somebody. I'm just trying to decide if I will use. So this is the fern stitched um, ribbon and it is on low quantity or I can use this white ribbon. I think maybe I'll use the white one. The fern one looks very nice though too with the feels like home. So and you could jazz it up as much or as little as you want. So I think when I try and make something, sometimes this, my prototype's not exactly how I want it in the end. So I think I might move this up so that my bow can be down there. So I'm going to show you how an easy way to mark out so you know where you want your words to be. So I'm just going to grab my little Fisker's mat here because it fits better in the screen. And I don't want to, my stamp is going to go over it. 
So I just want to know where this banner is going to sit on here as so I can stamp above and below. So you can either do it in a super light color so you don't see it. Like, let's just say, I just grabbed like pebble. So it's a light color gray. Make sure I don't actually still have black on here. The dog was standing super close to my desk and I just nudged him and he did not like that very much. So I think I'll put it about there. So then I just have a super faint line so that I know where the banner is going to sit so I can snap them my words. So I have Yep, yeah, he's not happy with me. Now he's leaving the office. He was trying to have a nice little nap and he didn't appreciate me trying to step over time. Okay, so now I have the wishing you a So then without actually having to adhere my banner down yet, I can see where it's going to go. And it'll say happily in the middle there. And then we'll say ever after. So there we go. So now I will just cut this part out. Nothing like flying by the seat of my pants to create something. I'm not always so good at that. I kind of like to pre-plan and know what things are going to look like before I, before I get going. But, oh well. That's what we've got to work with this week. So I'm just going to quickly Plus you cut it out. Also, if you didn't want the leaves, like you just wanted the straight banner piece, you could just cut them right off. It's not a big deal at all. Okay, so this is how this one is going to go. And, and you could add any sort of shape. I just picked this shape because it happened to kind of fit with the banner, the square. But you could have a circle with a birthday cake for money on a birthday card. Okay, so I am going to... Okay, so I want the ribbon <clears throat> under my flap. So I'm just going to lightly tie this. And I know it's super hard to see with the stripes, but the flap is there. Okay, so now you need to raise it up so that when we untie it, you'll be able to open the flap. So I'm just going to use, I'll come back and make my ribbon pretty, but I just kind of want it held closed for me now. 
I'm going to try and move a few things around. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of foam tape at the bottom and at the top so that the ribbon can flow through. So, there we go. And I'm just going to put it up inside from the stitch so that it's not right at the bottom. So when you open it up, you don't see it right away. Like that. So now the ribbon will sit right here in the middle. So. Let's. Just going to line it up on the flap, and I know you can't see the start and the end of the flap because of the stripes. But so now you can tie it wherever you want on the flap because it's popped up like so. Okay, and now I think I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to actually glue this flat. Like so. So, and I can just see where I want it because I have those faint pebble ink marks underneath. now so it opens like so you can slide your money inside just like so and I would maybe drop a card inside the same size just like a to from and a nice little message for them think though I want to tie up on this side. So now so and you could use this in so many different ways. I thought I'll see. Oh, that is not a very pretty bow at all. Holy smokes. The joys of trying to tie a bow on camera. That's a little bit better. So I think I think this is as good as it's going to get for today. And so that is that. So I think that's super cute, super fast to make, and very useful. So guys, thanks for watching day two of the product of the week. Let's see if I could tie this one a little bit nicer. I will drop the measurements 
into the description after the video is posted. So there you go. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.